One of the biggest questions I get about relationships as a tarot reader is about communication. It comes in two ways. The first way is direct. I'm having trouble communicating. My partner isn't communicating. Uh, that, that is one way. The other one comes in uh, more indirect. I'm really frustrated with this person. Why aren't they doing this thing? They're such an asshole. That why, They never listen to me. Um, why are they always doing this thing? Uh, and th that indirect is, well, have you talked to them about it? <laughs> Did you let them know? Uh, are you having any kind of conversation? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. So when I'm, when I'm working with a communication challenge in a relationship and I'm pulling cards around it, I do pull cards around uh, how someone, this, most relationships, how someone's thinking, speaking, feeling, and what they want most. And the speaking part is uh, a section of that holistic view. And, and I may add other things in there, but those are the, those are the core four. Uh, so the speaking is the communication side. And what I'm looking at is two sets of cards. The person, and, well, primarily two sets. Sometimes if I'm working with um, open relationships, with throuples, with however the relationship manifests itself, there may be more than one set of those four. Primarily, I've got two. Uh, whether it's romantic, personal, professional, all the things, there's primarily two. So I'm looking at those two cards of how people are speaking and how they interact. What, what's interesting is um, how that, that card about speaking also aligns with all the other four cards. Because if someone's out of alignment, they're not in balance with themselves, then um, their speaking may be uh, constantly in a state of miscommunication. It may be and they may be saying what they're thinking, but not what they're feeling or not what they want most. Uh, they may be saying what they want most, but uh, not talking about how they're feeling. And you can have a lot lost in translation when these things aren't, when you're not in alignment. So uh, when I'm looking at communication, I'm not just looking at how someone is speaking. I'm looking at where they're speaking from. I'm looking at what they might be speaking about or not speaking about. And sometimes I'll draw that out and, and add um, look for more information and additional cards, but most of the time it, it tends to be enough to have a good conversation about why communication is happening or not and what that communication is about. That opens up doors for the person that I'm sitting across from. It gives them an opportunity to reflect. So if you're sitting across from me, now you can reflect on your communication. You can reflect on potentially the other person's communication and how they're receiving what you are saying. <clears throat> because the reading isn't about the other person if you're sitting in front of me. If you're sitting in front of me and we're talking about your relationship, it's about how you are bringing yourself to the relationship and what your actions, experiences, self-expression, communication are, all of those things. Uh, it's about you. The other person is a piece of that equation because without the other person, you don't have the relationship. So I also look at their cards, not to psychically spy on them, but to have the other half of the equation. Because I don't have them in the room, I have one person's um, turn of events. The other set of cards gives me their experience and what, what they're bringing to the relationship so that I can better understand where you are and how you're moving through it. Because if the challenge is the relationship, it takes two to tango. <laughs> so your choices are impacting the experience that you're having in the relationship as much as the other person. Because you bring a whole person, you, to the relationship, uh, the, the reading then is about the holistic version of self. So when you're getting relationship readings with me and we're talking about communication as a challenge in the relationship, we're talking holistically about you and how your, your communication is uh, impacting the relationship. The other person may be a factor and so I include them in what I'm pulling and what you might hear from me about. 
But the challenge is not to fall into, well, why are they doing that? Why they are doing that, whatever it is that they're doing, is their journey. It's not yours. You are like two atoms crashing into each other, creating an entirely new journey together. And if those two things are repelling each other, then there's a challenge. If they're inviting each other in and make something new, now there's some possibility and something interesting to attach to. And so um, there, there's different things to explore in, in either experience. The other thing that I think is interesting, and I drew two cards to explore this, is uh, what, what is it about communication that is available to all of us? And I drew the magician and justice. These are two of the biggest opportunities that we have. One is communication has been going on for thousands of years in whatever way it happens. And we're all impacted by the way communication has happened. Our, our experience as humans is impacted by the way we've always communicated. There is a, um, a layer of how we're connected uh, through the energy that exists already and how we choose to communicate. So there's that. Then there's our own conditioning that we've experienced throughout our entire lives. Uh, excuse me, uh, let me reframe that. Uh, the layer of, of humanness and then our own experience, how we bring ourselves to the world, and then this layer of conditioning that happens on top of that. So we may have challenges communicating just because of how we were conditioned or told we should communicate versus how we're meant to communicate. That's, that's this, that's the magician. Then there is justice. And uh, justice is bringing that truth and advertising. Here, <laughs> here's how we're supposed to communicate. Here's what the truth is that we might be saying, but we're not because of our conditioning, because of how we bring ourselves to the world, because of that layer of who we are as humans and the ancestral experience that exists for thousands of years before us that is impacting who we are today. So there's a lot to justice in adding the layer uh, to this, this uh, basicness, of what, basicness of what the magician is, those, those points. And we also have a one and a two. We have a binary here. We have an experience of what happens when you have something that initiates and something that, be, that happens after that and the point in between or the line in between. So we have the active and the passive. We have the experience of what happens when we try and communicate. And that is always an unknown until you know what these two people or three people, or four people, or however many people are in this experience together. And that's what tarot helps to explore so that you can have that objective insight about what's going on in communication with the relationship. I could talk about this forever. So there's a, there's a base of what it's like to think through communication uh, and how tarot might help explore it.